Hey guys, this is Nick, and welcome to my Linux experiment. Elementary OS has managed to build a small but robust ecosystem of apps that do one thing, but do it very well. These are one of the main draws to that specific distro, but most of these apps are also available outside of the Elementary OS App Center. So let's take a look at some great applications for Elementary OS, and if you can run them elsewhere. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Most of you probably know about it, but for those who don't, Skillshare is an online learning platform that has videos and tutorials and courses on every single topic you could imagine. Now, since we're talking about Linux here, there are plenty of courses that you could follow on learning the basics of Linux command line, learning how to administrate a system, become a Linux sysadmin, or just deep dive into some of the features of the Linux kernel. Me personally, I've been learning more about how to make better videos by following this film lighting course on Skillshare. And it's taught me how to use better lighting, how to better frame your videos, and I think the results are showing. Now you guys can also improve your creativity, learn a new hobby, or just basically improve your work skills by using Skillshare. Now Skillshare is very simple to use and very affordable, your account is free, and if you want to get offline downloaded courses, or if you want to deep dive into some of the courses that Skillshare offers, you can subscribe for as little as $8 a month. Now the first 200 subscribers that click on the link in the description below will get access to two months of free Skillshare Premium subscription. So head over there, click on the link and start improving your creativity. Let's start with some apps to handle your media files. The first one is Chiano. It's a converter for any kind of format you'd like. It allows you to take any video, picture or music file and turn it into another format in a pinch. It's super fast, looks good and simple, and while it's not the best solution if you want to tweak a lot of settings before converting, it generally does an awesome job, and I use it all the time. Chano allows multiple file conversions at the same time, and lets you pick the destination folder or use the origin folder for the converted files. It's available on the App Center or on FlatHub. Next is Image Optimizer. If you run a blog or a website, you'll need to make sure your images are compressed enough to not use too much space and guarantee speedy page loads. Image Optimizer is designed to do just that. It actually integrates into the File Manager right-click menu, so you can just select an image, right-click on it, and optimize it immediately. I use it to reduce the file sizes on my website, thelinuxexp.com. The app is available on the App Center or on FlatHub. To complete this tour, there's Resizer. This is the useful counterpart to Image Optimizer, as it allows you to resize images in a pinch from your right-click menu in your File Manager. You select the max height or width, and the image will resize to ensure you don't lose the aspect ratio. It's extremely handy for my blog as well, and I recommend you grab it from the App Center. If you're using another distro, you can compile it from source, it's a pretty small one. Now let's get to productivity tools. First one is Planner. Most of you know I love this application, and it really deserves another highlight. Planner is a project management application that lets you create folders, projects, and tasks in that order, with a bunch of bells and whistles. It syncs with a Todoist account, or you can sync the database using any other sync tool you use, and it supports tags, due dates, reminders, subtasks, notes, and priorities. Multi-selection of tasks is also coming in the next update. You can use a dark theme, and it even has a quick add window you can invoke from anywhere to quickly add a task. It's an excellent application that you can grab on the App Center or on FlatHub, and I use it to manage all the videos I want to make every month, as well as some work tasks. Next is Outliner. A relatively new entry in the App Center, it allows you to quickly outline a plan for a presentation, a memo, or any long-form document. You can move headers around, indent them to quickly lay down your thoughts, and it supports multiple themes, checkboxes if you want to keep track of what's done or not, and you can even export your work to multiple formats, including Minder, which we'll talk about next. Outliner can even be used for to-do lists if you'd prefer, and it's available from the App Center or can be compiled from source. Minder is next, and it's a terrific mind map application. It allows you to quickly jot down ideas and link them together, and offers a ton of ways to present your map with color themes and various trees. The nodes, connections, and lines can be tweaked as well to really achieve any look you want, and you can export the results to a ton of formats, including for other mind mapping apps such as FreePlan or FreeMind, or re-import your map into Outliner. Finally, a focus mode allows you to just see one path to really dive into your mind map. Minder is available on the App Center or on FlatHub. Now we move on to vDrive, a Google Drive syncing client. It's a fairly simple app. You just log into it using a Google account, copy the key Google gives you, and select the folder where you want to sync all files, and the client will just do the rest, monitoring for changes one way or the other, and syncing your files to and from your Google Drive. 
I don't personally use Google Drive as I stay away from Google products as much as possible. <clears throat> I'm still on YouTube. But integrating it easily on Linux is very useful for people who do. VDrive is available on the App Center or FlatHub. Next, we have Pebbles, a fantastically complete calculator application. It will let you do scientific calculations, statistics, state calculations, and even convert from any scientific unit to any other. It's a wonderful tool for students as you'll get everything in one place, and you can even define the values of two constants so you can reuse them afterwards in your calculations. Pebbles is available from the App Center and FlatHub. Now to conclude, let us take a look at Color Picker. It's an extremely simple app, but it lets you grab any color on the screen and copy its value in any format you'd like, hexadecimal, RGB or RGBA. All previously picked colors will stay in the bottom, so you can get back to them easily. For graphic designers or just project managers like me, it's a super handy tool and I use it literally every day. You can grab Color Picker in the App Center or compile it from source. Now let's finish this tour with some media consumption apps. The first is Vocal, an awesome podcast client. It will look up for podcasts from the iTunes library, but you can also add your own through an RSS feed. It supports downloading or streaming episodes, lets you choose from which region you want to see results from the iTunes store, it has a dark theme, and it can handle a queue of episodes. You can get it from the App Center or FlatHub. Next is Byte. It's a small music player, which will let you play your local music collection or web radios if you prefer. It has a fantastic, minimalistic interface which you can theme a bit and lets you create playlists. You can browse by songs, albums, favorites or playlists, and as it's so lightweight and simple, it starts extremely fast. The added radio capabilities is a nice bonus and you can grab Byte from the App Center or FlatHub. Now if you prefer to just listen to web radios, however, Tuner is a fantastic choice. It lets you browse any web radio by genre. You can obviously search for a specific radio and start the ones you want to get back to. It has a UI very reminiscent of iTunes and is super simple to use. It also integrates with the sound menu in Elementary OS and probably on other distros as well. You can grab Tuner from the App Center or the AUR or compile it from source. Now let's move on to Fondo, a small app to find new wallpapers. It searches through Unsplash for beautiful pictures you can use as your wallpaper, you just have to browse or enter a search term and click on the image to apply it as a desktop background. They'll send your previously used wallpapers as well so you can reuse them anytime you want. Fondo is a super simple app but very useful if, like me, you want to often change how your desktop looks. Grab it from the App Center or FlatHub. And if your favorite wallpaper isn't in the usual landscape size, well you can always turn to Wallpaperize that will add a beautiful blur effect around the actual image so you can still use it on your desktop without stretching the image or having black borders around it. You pick the size you want your new image to be and it will create a new one which you can use. Wallpaperize is available on the App Center or can be compiled from source. And that concludes this video, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did don't hesitate to like, subscribe and turn on notifications. Let me know which apps you use every day and I'll give them a try, or maybe make a dedicated video if they really catch my eye. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!